Julia, how are you? I am doing fantastic. I am so grateful to be here. And uh, Whistler Film Festival is, is really close to my heart because um, Whistler is a place that I have come to a lot. And uh, living in Vancouver and, and being a ski family, it's, um, it's one of my favorite places in the world. What got you into the industry to begin with? I, I took a theater class when I was about six years old, and I just wanted to keep taking that same theater class over and over and over again. It made me so happy. Um, and acting class still makes me super happy. And uh, when, I was, when I was about 12, I, I started uh, taking classes more professionally and auditioning and started out in short films, and now I'm here. And now you're a star to watch yes. at the Whistler Film Festival. <laughs> when they told you that you were one of them, what was your reaction? I was I was so thrilled and so grateful to to be a part of of Whistler Film Festival. It's it's such an incredible uh, way to celebrate Canadian artists and and to really um, really lift our our voices and our stories and and get them out into the world. What's the difference to you? Obviously, there's a big difference on screen, but when it comes to short films and features, I I think the major difference is uh, the it, with a short film, it has to be so much more condensed, mm -hmm. and so it's I'm I'm actually writing a couple of short films right now and and the the main challenge is to be able to tell a story and have a message and a theme and to be able to tell it in so few pages. And so um I guess as as an actor it's it's also it's also a challenge to to maybe tell a story with fewer words and um that's always that's always a fun challenge as an, as an actor to be able to express without dialogue and uh yeah just different different ways of of getting the message across now the short films that you'll write and get that message across will you automatically be the star in them as well oh no <laughs> I, I i don't know if i could ever act in something that that i've written and also i think i think part of the fun in getting a, a story from script to screen is seeing what an actor can bring to the story that maybe you hadn't thought about before. So, because um, I know as an actor, I, I always try to, to um, I, I look at a character as kind of a puzzle and, and I, I look through the story for different elements that, that maybe go together that, um, that you know, in, in unexpected ways. And I, I try to bring something really new and and unique to it. And so I think if if I was casting something that I'd written, I I would be really excited to see what what different actors would bring to it that I maybe hadn't expected or or even seen in my own writing. Let's talk about what you brought to Allure and that character. Okay. Um yeah, I um at at this festival it's is called A Worthy Companion. Um it's got the the two different names right now, but um yeah, it's it's a very dark story. It's but it's an important one. Um, it's it's a story of a relationship that is born out of a really almost desperate need for love and attention. And um, it, I think both characters are coming from a place of really being starved of that, and they find it in each other, and it it spirals into something that's very unhealthy and very dangerous. And I think the story is so important because it really brings some of those signals to light that that maybe people don't tend to see until it's too late. And so I think it has the potential to maybe help some people or, or allow them to identify some, some warning signs in their own lives. And um, it also tells the story in a way that I think hasn't really been told before. And it's 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 a very fresh take on it and i think um and jason and carlos sanchez um the uh the writers directors they did such an amazing job of really making the script um something something new and different and um yeah i'm i'm just really excited to see it and it's a it's a really important message to get out there it seems like right now in this time is the best time to do it um, it's really, you know, just 
blowing up everywhere that people need to talk about things more. So why do you feel like this project was important for you to get in on now? Uh, I think that I think that we we're, we're in a very interesting time where where people are people are starting to talk about things that maybe have been really taboo to talk about before and just covered in shame and um, I think it's it's such an it's an incredible and brave thing that that so many people are now um, coming forward with with stories that that maybe have been shameful in the past and um, really helping each other out. And uh, I, I, I just think it's, it's a story that's going to resonate with a lot of people. So we're going to watch you that in that this weekend. Uh, but you are a star to watch. What are we going to watch you in next? What's up? I, I recently finished shooting a film in Edmonton. Um, it's an independent thriller called uh, Come True. And I, I can't say a lot about it right now, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about it. It's, it's, uh, it's about nightmares and the collective unconscious. Um, it's very Jungian. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a thriller that has a lot of elements that, um, that thrillers don't usually have. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. So when you talk about nightmares, do you have a biggest nightmare, a biggest fear? Oh, wow. Um, I think my, my, my biggest fear would probably be not living up to my potential or um, not, not doing as much with my life to help other people as I could have. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just always looking for ways that I can that I can grow and, and help other people to grow as well. And um, that's part of why I love Whistler Film Festival as well, is because there's such a feeling of community and, and lifting each other. Um, there's 11 different programs that, that are supporting and developing Canadian artists, um, actors, directors, producers, musicians, writers. It, it's just so incredible. And there's such a feeling of um, just people lifting each other. And just talking to you right now, I would say you have nothing to you have nothing to fear because you're already on your way. You're doing that already. Um, you're inspiring people, which is awesome. So thanks for thanks for sharing your talent. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Mm -hmm. It's about your socks. My socks. Yeah, okay. I think socks tell a lot about a person. I agree. I'm al I'm always looking at people's shoes. Actually, really? I think yeah, yeah. Because um, I, I find all when I when I put on a character's shoes and I start to walk like them, that's like so key to getting into a character. But anyways. That brings a whole new meaning to walking a mile in someone's shoes, right? Exactly. It's literally walking in somebody else's shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what type of socks do you wear under those amazing shoes? I, I am actually uh, the true Whistlerite that I yeah. am. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing ski socks. Awesome. <laughs> because they are incredibly comfortable. And oh, right, um, the yeah. extra arch support is yeah. Uh, is they it, it's like it's it's like a hug for your feet. She gets me. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.